complex communication and we have done many topics like get request with parameters cascading drop downs and in the last lecture L6 we have talked about plain JavaScript and HTML code for in place editing of records that was pure JavaScript pure HTML today we will extend that to include the C sharp code also in fact we covered this L6 because we wanted some base for L7 so this is a mini project on AJAX based inline editing of rows of a table and we will see how a C sharp code can be connected to it how an ASP.NET Core application can be wired to it so first of all let us see how things are going to work for us this is the C sharp project that we have already completed I will explain the major parts of this so first of all we create an empty uh, C sharp ASP.NET Core application and inside it we have done nothing it is totally empty this is the startup.cs file this is configured as usual we will have configure services method this method will add support for razor pages and then the configure method is there in this method we have use routing and map razor pages these parts of code they are the basic boiler boilerplate for including the support for razor pages that is what we have done this is the minimum thing that should be done and after that we come to the solution explorer and add a folder called pages this folder spellings are important this would be exactly the same spellings and inside it we have added a razor page called index.cshtml and it has two parts one is the cshtml file and the other is the c sharp file before i take both of them let me run this project in debug mode so that you can see what is exactly how will it work so this is the same in place edit example there is an edit button and there is a cancel button edit update when you do this update let us say I change it to James UI I change it and tick mark this to certified now when I click this and click update the request will go to the server and a breakpoint I have added there that breakpoint will be hit and that will show that our code is actually running click update and as soon as you do you see that there is a breakpoint that has been hit I will talk about this in a moment so let me stop it and come back to the various parts of this code that we are going to discuss this is the backing uh, cshtml file this is the code for the cshtml file that we have already discussed in the previous tutorial also and you can have a look at it also this is the code I mean index.cshtml this is the same file that we have added as a good screenshot and you can have a look at it now we will discuss the entire file completely and then we will move to the cs file so let us proceed the file starts with the CSS styles we have already talked in the previous tutorial the addition in this tutorial is to add a form tag around the table a form tag with an ID and a method is equal to post has been added around the table because the controls inside this table the input control the checkbox control they will be posted to the AJAX request so for that we have included a form around the table it starts here and it ends here and as we discussed earlier already the last TR of the table is a hidden ID with boxes and it contains the update and cancel buttons now cancel will work as usual because the request will stay on the client side only edit will also work the same because the request is going to stay on the client side the change that you will need is in this update when you click this update the data has to be altered on the client side also like we discussed in the last tutorial and the same data has to go to the server side also so let us see the part of this update that takes the code to the uh, the request to the server side so this is the script we already done a dot edit for each already covered 
and we have now to modify the click event of the update button. When the user clicks on the update button, when the user clicks on the update button, a fetch AJAX request goes, the action is post, uh, the action is uh, the location to which the data will be posted and by default it is the same page, the home page from which you are obtaining this form. Then method is form dot method. this will be post and the body will be the form data that is the contents of these update in fact here I've shown it as only one uh, uh, this uh, text box because last time I discussed a simpler example and in the current one you will see one more checkbox also has been added I took these screenshots from the last lecture so you will not see here but let me show you the actual code just wait a minute this is the form this is the table this is the caption and I'll scroll it apart from the name I have added is certified for the boolean and the first is no the second is yes and this is the update for the JavaScript and here let us uh, sorry this one this TD this is the checkbox that has been added this time last time we had only up to the this uh, txt we had only up to this txt but this time we have added the checkbox also so this is an addition so you will find these changes in this code this time but they are not present here because I took the screenshot from the last one so basically it will take the form data for this and for the adjacent checkbox and that will be posted to the server and any network errors will be caught and after the response returns then we put current tr.cells1.inner text is equal to txt.value the contents of this text box they will move into the td cells1.inner text is equal to this whatever the user types and that was sent to the server and then the checkbox here it was the checkbox if it is checked the text will be yes otherwise it will be no so what happens is that when your request goes to the server uh, uh, here I should have actually tested for the response also whether the response is 200 okay or not I have not added that code here for authentication I have assumed that things have gone okay only so that change you can implement in your own projects so when the request returns successfully after that we do these changes on the client side and current TR is hidden is false that is the current TR is shown after the data has been put into the TDs of that now let us uh, see come to the second part that is this is the index.cshtml index.cs file let us come to the code here there we have the on post method this method receives the values from the that uh, and, uh, Ajax request coming from the client side an artificial delay and JSON result ok sent and when you run this and hit the breakpoint you will see that these values they are in fact the same values that have been sent from the client edit let us make some modification and click update the request reaches here and if you use this txt you find that changed value and for this it is false because we didn't take it mark now you can do whatever you want with these values I haven't shown the database part that we will have to add separately so this is the whole concept behind the story and the code you can obtain from me the, the same project you can obtain from me and this is that yes and all if I want to run it again to show you that in case start debugging so this is is certified no yes story this one so this is how the things are going to work I'll close it right now thank you